Good afternoon. Alexis Groves took the stand in her own murder trial today. She's the young woman who stole an electrician's van and crashed into a family on their way to school, killing a mother and her 14-year-old daughter. News 13's Ariana Kraft is here with this morning's testimony. Kim, the prosecution wants her put away for life for murder. The defense is hoping for a lighter sentence on lesser charges. Today, Groves took the stand to try to gain sympathy from the jury. I'm always sad. Like, I, I feel like a part of me died that day. Groves and her boyfriend at the time, Paul Garcia, stole a running van from a driveway in the Heights back in 2017 and were running from police when they sped through a stop sign at close to 80 miles an hour. 14-year-old Shaylee Bowling and her mother, Shauna Arredondo Bowling, died in the crash. Arredondo Bowling's young son was injured, but Groves testified that Garcia was shooting up drugs and says she went along with it because she liked him and she was also high on meth. She says it was Paul Garcia's idea to steal the van so they could go to a drug dealer. She claims Garcia told her to keep going. He was like really panicked about something he had in his backpack and like he was just saying go, go, go like and I was just listening to what he said. Grove says after the crash, she wrote Arredondo Bowling's family a letter because she wanted them to know she was sorry. Both Groves and Garcia ran from the crash scene without checking on the family. Prosecution also finished their cross-examination this morning. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ariana. Now, Garcia, her passenger, was the first to take the stand in the trial. He did take a plea deal in exchange for that testimony. We'll hear more from Groves at 4.